Have you ever thought about staying in Star Class, the top tier sweet experience on Royal Caribbean? I've got advice for anybody considering doing this to get the most out of it up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. If you're staying in Royal Caribbean's top tier suites, you're going to want to know how to maximize the experience, including what your Royal Genie has to offer. If you're not aware, Royal Caribbean's top, most luxurious suites on its Oasis and Quantum class ships are known as the Star Class. And these are the rooms that really stand out because Royal Caribbean wanted to give the people that are staying here the ultimate experience in there. Among the many benefits you get for staying in Star Class, you also get a crew member who's this blend of personal concierge and magic maker known as the genie and the genie works with just three cabins to manage every need you might have on board now i've had the opportunity luckily enough to try two different real Caribbean genies so far so my takeaway has been there's a bit of a learning curve to being able to fully utilize what real Caribbean packs into the experience in fact what's listed on paper as your benefits is really just a starting point depending on your genie and how vocal you are, the experience can vary significantly from person to person. The cost of booking one of these cruise cabins that includes a Royal Genie is not cheap, with prices usually starting in the five figures. So with that kind of an investment, getting your money's worth is something you probably want to investigate. So here's my best advice for someone who's going to be trying a star class suite for the first time so you can get everything out of it you possibly can. Let's start with number one, and that is staying in a star class suite makes it even easier with even basic activities. It's easy to start planning all the big ticket things your star class suite includes, but don't overlook the basics either. Having a Royal Genie is all about making your life on board easier, especially when it comes to lines. Genies have the ability to cut the line for almost everything on board, including onboard activities. Your Genie can get you to the front of the line for laser tag, water slides, and pretty much any other activity on board. This is especially helpful with kids who often want to do all the fun things on board. When we were on Wonder of the Seas, our genie was able to cut a huge line for laser tag in order for my kids to do that. And that literally saved us hours of waiting and more likely frustration because I wouldn't have waited in that line. I would have said, forget it. We're not waiting in that line, kids. We ain't doing laser tag on this cruise. But having the genie was huge. So you might want to make sure that you let the genie know about any of the onboard activities you want to do because if there's any lines involved, they can get you in front of it. Number two, and this is a big one that was a surprise to me, that is every genie is different. If you read the description of the Royal Genie service from Royal Caribbean, it sounds like the Genie experience is going to be the same for everybody, no matter which Genie you get, but it's actually far from it. Every Genie has their own style and approach to offering their services, and that means your experience can vary between different Genies. Star Class, by its very definition, is designed to be a personalized experience. While the overall rules, if you will, are fairly consistent, the specific amenities do tend to vary by ship and even among Genies on the same ship. I hesitate to say that one genie is better or worse than another. Instead, they're simply different. So if you've had a genie in the past, your next genie will likely do things slightly differently. What this means is some genies are better about pre-cruise communication and others prefer to spend more time socializing with their guests and others. Each genie will help with planning your days and nights with things like specialty dining reservations, entertainment seating, booking onshore excursions, and personal escorts on and off the ship as needed. They're basically a walking and talking guest services that you can message anytime. When you meet your genie on board, it's always a good idea to share with them what you're looking for during the sailing. Just keep in mind how each genie goes about their duties will vary. So just because you had one before or you heard about another one doesn't mean the one that you have is going to work exactly the same way. Number three, ask for everything. One of the early mantras I learned from others that book star class is to rely heavily on the genie to provide pretty much everything. As somebody that's used to planning a lot before my cruise and not wanting to be a bother, this is an adjustment for me. But the real value of having a genie is having them take care of your every need. What this means is any food or drink you want should go through the genie rather than you getting it yourself. If you want to see a show or reserve a seat somewhere, ask the genie. I even asked my genie to reserve seats at the Mason Jar Bar because it was getting busy. He investigated and got us reserve seats there. Not a perk that's listed anywhere on any particular sheet, but because I asked, he was able to do that. Of course, I can do all these things on my own, like get my own seat at a bar or get my own drink or any of the other things that the genie provides, but paying for the Star Class experience gets you this service. And for a lot of people like myself who are Uber planners, you have to make a mental adjustment to have the genie do it rather than you. It's best to take advantage of what you're paying for is not to feel like a bother to the genie by making these requests. So when in doubt, ask the genie to do something. 
One of the best benefits of the Genie is the specialty dining galore that you'll be able to enjoy because the specialty dining is included with your cruise fare. Just like the unlimited dining package, you can dine at any specialty restaurant and pay nothing extra for the experience. Unlike the dining packages, your Genie can reserve tables for you before the cruise. He or she can also deliver any food from a specialty restaurant to your room as long as the restaurant is open. We usually feed our kids before dinner so we can drop them off at Adventure Ocean. So when we say in star class, my kids order steak from Chop's Grill and pizza from Giovanni's Italian Kitchen because it's included. I think this will be a point of contention among some of our viewers who really love Coastal Kitchen. But while Coastal Kitchen, which is the complimentary restaurant for sweet guests, is included with your cruise fare as well, it seems to me the included specialty dining is far more lucrative as a star class guest to take advantage of for your dining plans than to go to Coastal Kitchen. In my opinion, emphasis on opinion, if you're going to go to Coastal Kitchen, I think you're best off doing that when you're not in star class and in a regular suite like a sky class or even a C class suite. Another really important thing to know about staying with a Royal Genie is that check-in is super easy. An underrated benefit of being star class is you'll never have such an easy check-in procedure at the cruise terminal. Regardless of your check-in time with the Royal Caribbean app, your genie will ask you what time you want to arrive. When you get to the terminal, a designated porter just for sweet guests will take your luggage and bring it directly on board the ship immediately. So it's not to get processed. They take it right from there directly to your room. You then get to enter the cruise terminal and complete the check-in process ahead of everybody else. And your genie meets you in the cruise terminal and takes you immediately to your suite. They say patience is a virtue, but they clearly never stayed in star class because that's definitely not necessary. Something else you should know about a star class room is the gratuities are crazy depending on who you ask. How much tip your genie at the end of the cruise is a gray area to say the least. There's all sorts of ideas of what is appropriate and the amounts are quite frankly all over the place. In my experience, there is no right or wrong answer as you have to consider all the sorts of people who book star class and there's no specific gratuity recommendation by Royal Caribbean. The genie will appreciate whatever gratuity you deem is appropriate at the conclusion of your sailing. But for anyone who's trying star class for the first time, you're going to quickly discover that tipping is really the wild west for genies. Of course, nobody wants to stiff anybody or be rude in any case. So it's kind of really confusing and frustrating, to be perfectly honest with you. One of the original genies actually posted on RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com their experience as a genie. Because this person, I won't use their name, but they did post their comment in our blog post. So whatever. Anyway, they said they were one of the original genies back in 2016. And they shared their experience from past experience. First of all, and again, this is all from them. The genies don't get any part of the automated tips in the star class program. Genies get salaries based on a Royal Caribbean officer salary, and that's it. So the tips are very important to genies. Quote, my average back in 2016 was around $400 or more per cabin for a seven-day cruise. Honestly, I was pleased with whatever amount was given because it was just nice to know my guests were happy and I had a great time. Let me add that a nice email to corporate is always welcome and looks great in the genies file. Me personally, my depending on my experience, I pick an amount and multiply it by the amount of people I'm traveling with and go from there. Next up, your cabin is your castle. Another mantra for star class is to spend more time than ever in your cabin. Because your genie can deliver all the food and drinks you want to the cabin, plan on spending more time and enjoying the lavish accommodations that you have booked. Star class cabins are large and offer a ton of living space, coupled with beautiful views, so enjoy them as much as you can. You can not only have food delivered, but a cocktail too. Heck, some genies have to arrange in-suite parties with bar carts, ice cream socials, and more. Going back to one of the lessons I talked about earlier, Ask for everything and whenever possible, have it delivered to your cabin. Did you know that a really underrated perk of staying in star class is all your laundry is totally complimentary. There is no additional cost. Instead of coming home with a suitcase full of dirty laundry, send it out to be laundered. My advice is send it out daily rather than like a huge bag at the end of the cruise. It's easier to manage because you have to fill out the laundry form each time you do it. And we have a giant laundry order. It's a real pain in the butt. But if you're only doing it every day, it's far more manageable. So ultimately, Matt, is star class worth the cost? I'm so glad you asked, even though this video has nothing to do with that. I'm still going to talk about that because I bet you if you listen to every single word I said in this video, the one question you still have is, is star class worth paying for significantly more than any other kind of cabin out there? And the star class experience is a splurge of epic proportions. So this is not a question of can you do enough to quote unquote break even just like first class on an airplane or buying a Corvette. You're doing these things because you can, and it's nice to reward yourself sometimes. Each time I've stayed in star class, I come to the same conclusion. It was a wonderful way to spend my cruise and it spoiled us. Frankly, I think that's exactly what Royal Caribbean wants guests to feel after they try star class. Obviously not everyone will be able to afford star class and that's okay too. You can have an amazing cruise experience without a Royal Genie and filet mignon delivered to your cabin. If you do like to try star class, do as much as you can to maximize your costs by utilizing all the services and perks of star class. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully 
if you ever try star class this will help pay dividends to you in a lot of great service let me know in the comments below your best tips for anyone that's going to be trying star class and if you've done star class before also let me know what your thoughts are on how to best take advantage of it i'd love to hear your comments down there below be sure to also like this video subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications that way youtube lets you know we have a brand new video to share this has been matt from royalcarbonblog.com and we'll talk again real soon